Last year, Mustafa tried to enter Saudi Arabia illegally in search of work. Just as he was about to cross the border, he was shot at and lost a leg. When I saw the Saudi soldiers who shot me, I asked them why they did it. They replied, why are you coming here? What are you doing here? I asked them to take me to hospital and told them I was injured, but they just replied, we don't care. If you die, it's not our problem. The International Organization for Migration took care of Mustafa. They treated him in hospital, where he met Wazera, who was also injured at the border. They later got married. They put the metal structure there. It's a lot better now, but when I got home, the bone wasn't healed. My family had to bring me back to the hospital, where they inserted surgical pins. They're among 10 migrants to have returned to Burqa Tatira injured. To help them find work, IOM has put in place a reintegration program. After these, the training and the business plan development, um, it's basically us providing um, in-kind assistance based on what kind of livelihood a migrant wants to take up. Say somebody wants to start a small cafe, we will cover the rent for the first couple of months of their you know, business. However, only 200 of the 50,000 Ethiopians who returned from Saudi Arabia last year were able to benefit from this program. Activists say encouraging employment could help prevent people from making the dangerous trip.